Alex, you are pay to win and free to play at the same time. Um, I have different teams, so that's what people suggested me. People suggested run to different accounts. I can't be asked logging in, logging out um, of the accounts all the time. So I decided to run two teams. Alongside with Shell, we got Snyder, and then with the help of Vishnu and other members, we got Sonia over here, which is nice. Very nice. And uh, I'm playing him in this setup, quick counter, also experimenting with his playstyle. And this is mainly to for entertaining purposes. This is where you guys want to see me. Division 1 speedrun, and that's Alex, you're a fraud, you're a pay to win fraud. And I'm using this team, and then I'm calling my uh, speedrun pay to win because I play just as good as pay to win teams with this team. Taking a shot when there is a blue circle, right? So we have different colors of circles. I think it's like that. Oh. Okay, so if goalkeeper jumped, thing is, goalkeeper saved two penalties for me right now. I think they fixed that. We converted the penalty kick, and now the moment has come. Now, we'll hit, yeah, he did like, if he dived to the right, he would probably be saving that, because my shot was kind of weak. And for some reason, I can't really direct it towards the right, despite me holding it above the bar. Please, I need Costa Curta. I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind Maradona too. Come on. What is it? Is there a Christmas? Is there a miracle? Christmas miracle for me? Come on. Come, come. Costa Curta, we need a legendary. Sparks. No, no, oh no. Oh no. No, that's definitely a goalkeeper. I know with my luck is a, is a Kobe. Oh no. I mean, thank you, Konami. That's great Christmas present. I appreciate it. I mean, maybe that's karma for, for penalty kicks, right? So I made these videos, tutorials, and you're mad at me, and you decide, you know what, that's what you deserve. You've been a naughty boy this year, and this is your Christmas present. That's what you deserve. Yes. You, you know what I like about that is that I really wanted to review Costa Corta, and I get to see all of you watch YouTube videos reviewing him, and, I, and I'm watching this review studio, and I'm sitting here without Costa Corta, and that's... Yes! Yes, I'm so happy! Yes! I'm so happy, really. I'm so happy. Happy New Year. That's good for GPs, though. Oh, 29,000. That's nice. So you see, goalkeeping catching only 79. Everything else is good. Goalkeeping is good. You're gonna be getting um, a boost on an arrow. But this is already with the manager boost. These are the stats. That's why I released this card. Not interesting. Thank you so much. If you're lucky to get Ronaldo, right? If you're or not lucky to get, like, Showtime Ronaldo, but you got the other version of Ronaldo. This is the one. Uh, this is how I would be training him. This is how I usually use Ronaldo cards. I'm not sure uh, if that will fit your uh, way of playing. But I think finishing is uh, 88. It's nice. Uh, dribbling is a little bit underwhelming. Dexterity. Uh, you see, he's actually quite pacey. 85, 86 is not bad. But the downside, biggest downside to this card is uh, his balance. So his physical contact already is 74 only, and jump is 85, heading 83. So what I would be doing, downgrading all the uh, arrow strengths, maybe leaving like one, and then I have three additional points, and instead I can improve either his acceleration, which is improving balance, or dribbling. Yeah, so I want him a little bit better, be a better dribbling. Tight position is important because I want to turn around. Like if I'm playing him as a target man, I step on the ball, turn around and then take a shot, for instance, right? And even if I'm applying a double touch skill on him, Marshall turn, whatever skill move you like to apply on your strikers, then at least you can dribble a little bit. Because when you apply a double touch on a fridge that can't turn, for instance, I'm faced an opponent who had double touch on delict. And that Delict performed double touch right in front of my Ronaldo. What I did, I just tackled him. Because it took that Delict to perform double touch, uh, I think, three seconds. By that time, even if I was sleeping, I was like, woke, I wake up and I still understand what I need to do. I need to use my Ronaldo, press tackle, and Ronaldo has so much time to tackle him. So that's why adding skills on players who have no dribbling abilities and balance abilities is not a best idea. So that's my... Uh, Two cents, and uh, if you want to add a double touch on Ronaldo or any additional skills, you probably would want to train and up his uh, driven abilities first. And then, speaking of special uh, legends, and the one that I was actually uh, eyeing definitely, Konami. Uh, I think I'm on Konami's naughty list. They are giving Costa Curta literally to everyone around me, to the right, to the left. But I will be training him. The problem that you see, his defensive engagement points are wasted because he would want to reach 
at least 19 defensive awareness. So what you've been downgrading probably some of the uh, lower body strengths here, get him to 88 and using that to defend him. Get it to 90 at least or 92 would be nice. So low body strength sell it like this, defend him to 92, right? We can play around with that later. Dribbling, maybe not needed because if you're playing him, he's defensive fullback, which means he's gonna be dropping down a lot. Then what's the point of using skill moves with him? What's the point of uh, like running down the wing, trying to dribble past players, cross, so on and so forth. So in this regard, uh, I would suggest probably downgrading entire dribbling entirely and then improving uh, what you have here is improving defending. You see, that's still already decent. Aggression is lacking, but that aggression, you know there is additional skill that is called track back. And many people confuse that skill with the fact that the player is tracking back, which is what skill explains. If you go to the in-game messages and see the explanation, and see the videos, for instance, of the channel called eFootball Potato, how you recommend it, Japanese channel, making experiments and seeing what exactly each skill does, what phenomenal finishing does to a player, and what he did, he, found, uh, he conducted an experiment. And from what I understood, when off the ball, when you're not controlling a player with a strike back skill, that player is chasing, without your input, without your uh, intervention, is chasing the nearest ball carrier. And he's really aggressive. He's trying to push tackle on his own, which is great. It drains a lot of stamina, the downsides. Uh, the uh, pros are so much pro like it's it's like it stops your opponent from abusing one touch passing from abusing uh, skill moves uh because when ai is tackling ai knows how to tackle better than you when you're tackling manually at times uh you are in trouble so track back would be the first skill i would be giving him also if this is the entire list that might be like sometimes these websites don't uh, represent the entire list the skills aerial superiority would be nice on him and then all the passing skills uh, if he doesn't have pinpoint crossing, give it to him. If he doesn't have uh, one-touch passing, give it to him. Uh, if he doesn't have through passing, give it to him, right? All the defensive skills he has. has interception, man marking, heading, uh, blocker, uh, fighting spirit, nice, heading, uh, sorry, acrobatic clear, sliding tackle. This is fantastic set of skills for defender. And uh, the way we're going to be training him, which is we still have seven points left, is probably adding, uh, you see, lofted pass already a little bit overkill. 88 would be nice. Because as a defensive fullback, he's not going to be really running down the wing unless you really force him with one, two passes. And he's not going to be getting into those positions to cross. So how about downgrading the passing entirely? We have 11 more points left, and that's where I will be improving his uh, acceleration probably. Dexterity. Yeah, that's nice. 81 dexterity is nice. And uh, then we're going to be probably... His speed is 86, acceleration 81. Uh, these points, you see, dexterity, this would be my build probably, most likely. If I'm getting him, of course, I'm thinking a little bit more. But this build is so nice because he can equally use him in a left-back position to be a really solid defensively or in a center-back position. So defensive awareness, engagement, tackling is good for a solid uh, center-back. But he's really pacey, 86, 81. And he's equally good at passing. You see, his passing is just like as good as for a center midfielder. And he's great at dribbling too. For a center back, that's good dribbling stats. So he can turn around, switch to play to the right, to the left without like taking 15 touches and your opponent pouncing on you and winning the ball. Which is also a player I wish I could have gotten. But Konami decided to celebrate, uh, to um, wish me a Merry Christmas with a different card, not Maradona or Casagurta. Thank you so much, though. Uh, for Maradona, I think uh, all the passing uh, skills he has, except for one touch passing, if he doesn't have that, if that site is displaying that erroneously, you need to give him one touch passing. He has everything, right? You can maybe experiment and see if he needs a heel trick, which is nice, to perform one touch passing from awkward positions to finish from awkward positions using his heel. Very cool. You can also give him flip flop and soul control to perform special double touch and also to dribble a little bit better with the soul control. Soul control allows you to turn a little bit faster and uh, it is very nice. And then it depends if you would like want rising shots, you can give it to him one deep in shots. Deep in shots are very fun too. So all of the skills are beneficial, very nice. Acrobatic finishing he has. Acrobatic finishing is helping you to score goals of balance, not only overhead scissors kicks, but also goals of balance, which is nice. And then uh, the training guide will be looking, uh, I think auto-locating is already very solid. 
uh, balance 93, acceleration 90. Uh, I would be willing to push his uh, low body strength somehow. So I'll sacrifice dribbling stats and improve his speed. 85, 90 and downgrade finish, uh, finishing 84 though. This, is, this would be my build, but it still depends on how much you're going to be taking the shots on the edge of the box. With Maradona, I would like to dribble more. And for that, I would need speed. I need him to be a really explosive. And for that, I need balance acceleration. And all of this is already in blue area. This is not the best Maradona, that not big time Maradona. It's still a good card, free. Many people have received it on Christmas. Congrats, or even before the Christmas day. I think it's great. Uh, the other build would be probably downgrading a little bit more dribbling and improving his passing so that it is a little bit better because I expect Maradona to be able to perform passes. We have two additional points, which we can downgrade and shoot into like 82 if you're not going to be taking a lot of shots with him and improving his uh, pace, right? Because if you're running around with Maradona a lot, uh, you know what, not pace, but acceleration, I think. And uh, then he is really pacey, he can dribble, everything is here. So total package depends on what you're going to be doing. Or if you want him to really finish with confidence, you can downgrade it and pass him and then improve shooting, right? Improve shooting to the point where it gets to like 85 and then use like one point in passing. You can be equally a uh, certain build. I just don't see, like you see, I trained my Neymar to have 90 finishing and at times he hits the post so many, many times that I think like... What's the point? Like, I would rather give these points to dribbling, you know? And I might be actually retraining that card. So this is the build of the three cards. Hope you get one.